So practice 9.9, .9, questions number 1. Mr. Han won a tender to install carpet in an office. Calculate the area of carpet required to fill up the office space as shown in the diagram on the right. So the office space is a quadrilateral. So if we draw a diagonal here, it's going to split this quadrilateral into two triangles. So let us label the triangle here as A and the triangle on the other side as B. So the triangle A is a right angle triangle. So we can find the diagonal here using the Pythagoras theorem as the diagonal is the hypotenuse. So let's say the diagonals here, we label this as Y. To find the Y is going to be the square root of 16 square plus 20.5 square. So the answer of the Y will be 26 meter. So to find the area of the triangle A, we can use just use the formula 1 over 2 times base time height. So it's equal to 1 over 2 times 20.5 times 16, which is equal to 164. As for triangle B, as the length of three sides are known, then we can solve this using the Heron's formula. So first, we're going to find the semi-perimeter of the triangle B, which is equal to 26 plus 18 plus 11.5. Then we're going to divide this by 2. So the semi-perimeter is equal to 27.75. Now we can find the area of the triangle B. It will be the square root of 27.75 times 27.75 minus 26 times 27.75 minus 18 times 27.75 minus 11.5 the answer is 87.716 now we can find the area of the carpet which is 164 plus 87.716 which is equal to 251.716 Questions number 2 The diagram on the right shows a decoration in the shape of pyramid. The decoration has a triangular base PQR. Vertex V is vertically above vertex P. Given PQ equal to 4 cm, PV equal to 10 cm, VR equal to 15 cm and the angle VQR is equal to 80 degree. Calculate the area of the inclined surface of the decorations. So the inclined surface of the decorations here is actually the flat surface of the triangle VQR. As vertex V is vertically above vertex P, this means the angle VPR and the angle VPQ will be equal to 90. As triangle VPQ is a right angle triangle, therefore we can find the length of VQ using the Pythagoras theorems, and VQ will be the hypotenuse. VQ will equal to the square root of 4 square plus 10 square. The answer of this is 10.77. So now let us focus on the triangle VQR. So if we are able to find what is the angle QVR, then we're going to have two sides and one included angle. Then we can find the area of the inclined surface here using the formula 1 over 2 AB sin C. So based on the information that we have, this 80 degree is opposite this 15, whereas this 10.77 is opposite the angle R here. So using sine rule, we will find the angle R first. So 10.77 over sine angle R, this is equal to 15 over 
sines at t. Sines angle R will be 10.77 times sines at t degree divided by 15. So angle R will be the inverse sines of the answer here, which is equal to 45 degree. So now we can find the angle V, which is equal to 180 minus 80 minus 45, which is equal to 55 degree. So now we have the informations of the length of two sides and one included angle. So now we can find the area of the inclined surface VQR. This will equal to 1 over 2 times 10.77 times 15 times sines 55 degree. The answer is 66.17.